Shalom Israel, what's up other nations? Tristan back again with another windy video. Um, day 105 of actual semen retention. Day 83 of the hygiene challenge as you guys can see from the title above. Uh, don't really have a free hand so I'm gonna just look up there and below depending on where you guys are watching this. Title of the video, challenges welcome with open arms. I feel like I could do anything um, been saying that for quite some time now. You guys know the fucking deal, but um, yeah, challenges are very much accepted and welcomed. You need them to grow. You need them to prosper. I don't really need to tell you guys this, but this sometimes needs to be said as a little reminder for those of you that think that, you know, challenges are something that we should avoid. No, that is not the case. Never avoid a challenge because it will make you a stronger person. You know the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Those are challenges. Challenges don't kill. Well, I mean, there are some challenges that can kill you. Don't let me, you know, say that there aren't. But you guys know, common sense, logical perspective. You know what will kill you. Skydiving. Kind of a risk, but highly not likely that you will die because there are so many safety precautions like the night or the hour before that you go up into the air they check this fucking um parachutes so it's not really that dangerous but it is a mental challenge that a lot of people are not really willing to do does it make you stronger does it make you just go for things probably yes i have not skydived it was just an example but anyways as far as challenges go um wake up earlier it's kind of a challenge it's a very simple one that has multiple benefits you know get up at like six you know most people with early morning jobs that's not very hard to them but for those of you that have leisure and for those of you that don't really have to get up that early get up that early it's crazy what you can do with so much free time just from being up in the morning. It's an amazing feeling, and I would definitely recommend it. Another challenge. Um, this one is pretty much like it could help you with so many things. Not semen retention, but the gallon of water is pretty slept on. Like, I know a lot of people know about that now. Like, it's broken its way into mainstream media. You know, drink a gallon a day, it'll solve migraines, it'll solve your wanting to take naps, it'll solve pretty much everything. You know, beings that are made up of, like, 70% water, you know, consuming more of it kind of leads us to say, oh, that's going to fix, like, a whole bunch of my ailments. And it's not that crazy to think that... You know, just drinking a gallon could help you with so many different things. But yeah, it's kind of challenging, especially to those of you that drink soda. I would definitely recommend it. Swap out your soda for water. Get a gallon down. Tell me how you feel. And on everything that I believe in, you will feel better after a week of a gallon a day. Um, another challenge that you should accept with open arms is obviously semen retention. If you're a man... Uh, just retain your sexual energy if you're a female. I know not many females watch this channel. I don't know why you would. Um, but uh, yeah, just retain that energy because like the, like the gallon of water, it'll give you more energy. And if you're drinking a gallon of water with this retention, bro, you could, you could literally get up at like 3 in the morning and still be perfectly fine. But yeah, guys, those are just some challenges that I have accepted with open arms. And another one that I'm still trying to get, um, uh, I was trying to speak into existence the second job at Burlington in my previous videos, but um, yeah, I really want two jobs. Um, that's a challenge that I'm willing to accept, and the benefits and rewards for having two sources of 9 to 5 incomes is pretty amazing. Uh, the first one, the first income that you could get could fuel all of your adventures towards, you know, breaking away from the 9 to 5. So you would have money to, you know, buy better equipment for YouTube for existence. For instance, existence, what the fuck? But, uh, yeah, that's my goal or my
my challenge that I'm willing to accept with open arms, let me know yours in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, this has been Tristan, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.